All right, welcome to creating your digital floor plan. All right, um, I'm going to be sliding back and forth, so if it gets a little dizzy, I apologize. However, this is my paper floor plan, um, which we did last week, and I had posted on the assignment so you could see it. Um, so now we're going to take this paper floor plan, right, and recreate it into a digital floor plan. So I'm going to scroll back over here. Uh, I'm going to go to, you should be signed in, go to your profile, go to dashboard, right, and then I'm going to create a new floor plan, right. We're going to start from scratch, right. You have to decide based on your room um, and your house which one best goes with your room shape. Right. If we scroll back here, you can see that this is about a standard rectangle um, apartment. So I'm going to grab this rectangle right, and place it in there. Right. Scroll back to the left. Right. You have to figure out how wide um, and long things are. Right. So if we look at here, 11 feet 4 inches plus 13 feet 7 inches um, is, let's see, 24 feet, 25 feet, and 1 inch. Right, 11 plus 13 is 24, 7 plus 4 is 11, so 25 feet and 1 inch. Right, so I'm going to take it, grab this, scroll this all the way, right, until we get to 25 feet and 1 inch. Right, now I also have to look and see how wide this is. So 14 feet 9 inches plus 6 plus 3 feet plus 4 feet 6 inches and then plus 2 feet 7 inches. So 14 plus 3 is 17 plus 4 is 21 plus 2 more is 23. Right. So 23 feet and then 7 plus 12 is 13 which means that I have another foot in 1 inch. So 23 plus one more foot is 24, and I have an extra inch, So and then there's nine inches here. So 24 feet and 10 inches. All right, so I'm gonna take this one and scroll it up, all right, until I get to 24 feet and um, 10 inches. Right, let's scroll out a little, 24 feet and 10 inches. Um, so you can click here just to confirm if it's not correct, um, all right, 24 feet and 10 inches. All right, so move this around so that your whole floor plan is there. All right, you can scroll out if it's bigger. All right, if you're working in one particular room, you can scroll in. All right, however you need to work with it. All right, so let's work on getting our doors in, or I'm sorry, our walls in first. All right, so let's scroll back here. I've got this wall that's 15 feet, right? I also know that this wall is 11 feet, four inches. So I'm gonna scroll over here, I'm gonna click on this one, and then it says draw your own wall. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna get a little plus icon, right? I'm gonna click on it, one, okay, go to 15 feet. Right, and then click, and that's gonna close it. And then I'm going to get another chance to close out that room. And voila, there's my bedroom right there. All right. When I go back to here, right, I got my walk-in closet. And then I've also got my bathroom. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add this wall. All right. As you can see, 10 feet six and a half in, um, 10 feet six inches. Right. And then four feet nine inches, four feet nine inches. All right. So take this again. Click here, 10 feet, 6 inches, okay, and then um, I'm going to click up here and close that off, that's my bathroom, All right? So you can click here and you can see these two are not quite where I want them, so I'm going to just take this until I get to um, a place where I think it works a little better. Right. If you're having a hard time seeing it, scroll back in. Okay. Um, and then I need to also include there's a wall here and here. Right. I know that from this part over is 3 feet 11 inches. Right. So let's draw another wall. I'm just going to 
temporarily put in a couple walls just so that I can kind of work with what I've got here. All right, so three feet, what did I say? 11 inches. Yep, all right. And then I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Okay. Actually, I believe what happens is this is here. Okay, good. Um, all right, so those are the walls on this side. All right, walls, wall, wall, wall here. All right, now, this is a counter and stove, and then this is a counter. So I'm not going to include the counter, I'm just looking at walls. However, I know this wall right here um, houses my refrigerator, and then this actually is another closet, so I need two walls here. All right. So let's put in um, this wall. We know that from here to here, um, three feet, seven, and a half, seven inches. Um, and then there's actually nine inches um, between the refrigerator and the wall here. Uh, um, yeah, so we're going to go back here. All right. Um, let's just double check real quick. I forgot to look and see. This wall right here is two feet seven inches, right? So two feet and seven inches, right? This is not a closed room, so I'm gonna actually press escape to um, just end that wall, right? I'm gonna scroll in and just double check two feet, and it should be seven, not ten. Sorry, let's try that again. I didn't like that. Um, click here. Two feet. Right, and again, escape. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me. It's just two feet seven inches. So let's scroll back in a little more. Huh. Interesting. All right, we're just going to leave it at two feet five inches just because I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. But this part, four feet five inches, three feet seven inches plus nine inches is actually four feet four inches. So I'm a little over, so just by one. All right, and then this closet. So I need four feet and six inches here between the refrigerator and that closet door. And then this closet is three feet deep. All right, and then four feet, one inch long. Okay, so again, let's just draw it. Let's get a sense of four feet, one inch. And then we'll kind of figure out the measurements from there. All right. So we said from here to here, four feet, six inches plus two feet, seven inches. So six, seven, eight, and then nine feet and one inch. So we want to make sure this right here, right, is nine feet. Okay, let me shift this down. Nine feet, one inch. Sorry, that should be seven feet, one inch, not nine feet, one inch. I can't multi multiply instead of adding. Right, and then I know that this is three feet. Right, and then this should be four feet, one inch. Okay, and so that's my closet. Right, so let's scroll out and look at this. Right, these are all the major walls in in my house. Okay, now hypothetically speaking, if this were a um, if I needed to open this up because I wanted to add an addition over here, okay, I could click on here, right, and say, okay, this is an addition over here, because this is, I don't know, an extra bed, an extra room, right, but this right here does not exist anymore. I can click on here, and that'll, voila, open up my entire um, floor plan, and now I have a whole nother um, room. Right, so that's how you can kind of open things up. 
I find that it's easier to add the addition on and then delete the walls opposed to deleting the walls first. All right, so you pant me, I can't go back, so I need to delete. I need to delete. Can I delete just the room? There we go. All right, so if you make a mistake, you can also delete the room. All right, so let's go back. I need to add some windows and doors, All right? This right here is my only window. All my other things are doors, All right? So my window is six feet, two inches. All right, so let's go to my windows. It's this um, big, beautiful window here, All right? Click on it. It is wider than three feet, so I said six feet and two inches, All right? I also know that it is about um, six feet, six inches high, right? It, it's a very high window. It, there's not a lot of room from the bottom, um, from the floor. So I made that fairly large, right? Now, my doors. Let's count these doors over here in this um, cluster. I need a door here, 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 and here. So there's four doors right there, right? So click on here, doors. Right? I have those plain kind of boring kind of door so on this is I'm going to use the regular door so one here one here one there and then one here All right I also then want to look at over here there's actually doors here I forgot to add it into my floor plan but I do know that they are there there are two doors they're actually a lot smaller um in terms of width so I'm gonna add these two doors All right but they are a little different in size. So I'm gonna change that to one foot and five inches. And then one foot and five inches. All right, and so that way these two doors actually now actually fit on here. All right, um, and then my my uh, main door is right here, so I'm actually going to use this one since this is actually similar to what it should be. All right, uh, and then my last door is over here. It's a sliding door, so I'm going to use this one here. All right, if I look here, this sliding door is six. Eight, I'm sorry, eight feet and eleven inches. All right, so click here. It's not quite that long. Eight feet and eleven inches makes it slightly smaller. Standard side doors here are two feet and eight inches. So now I need to go back and think about how my doors are opened. You might have indicated that on your floor plan. I did not. That was one thing I um, made a mistake about. So now that I'm doing it on the digital one, I kind of want to think about how they are open. So this one I know opens to here, right, and is against this wall. This one is open here and against this wall. Sorry, I was looking at my floor plan and realized that this is three feet one inch from this wall, not this wall. Um, sorry, three feet and 11 inches from this wall. That was my fault when I was looking at this. That's why this door didn't fit in here. All right, um, this door, I'm sorry, this door when I open it, actually will close, would block the bathroom door. So this is on the wrong side. So it's on the inside, but I want to change it so that it opens this way. All right, this one um, opens, but it doesn't open this way. It opens the other way, All right? So when I open it, the door would be against this wall. Um, and then this one is correct, right? You will notice that a lot of your doors, when they open, right? When an architect puts those in and thinks about that, um, and designers think about that. They want it against a wall so it's not going to obstruct something else, right? I wouldn't want to open this here, all right? Because then that doesn't allow me to put something against this wall because the door is going to hit it, right? If the door is up against the wall, then I know I just can't put something um, two feet and eight inches away against this door. Sorry, against this wall. All right, now looking at these two guys, all right? Right, um, actually left, right, however these are both on the, oops, outside, click, 
outside. Right. So that's those doors because they pull out in front, like out towards me. Um, and then I think we're good to go. Um, all right. So this is what your floor plan should look like. You don't need to take any pictures of the inside at the moment because I just want to see your floors, the basics of your floor plan. Right. So in your floor plan, you need to include floors. You also need to include all your walls, all your doors, and then all your windows. Right. That's all I want you to include for this particular um, assignment. Right. Now, floor styling. I can change my floor styling if I would like. Oops, sorry. Okay, under here for wood. Right, and see what kind of um, is probably the closest. This might actually be it. Right, and so what I want to do is casual wood tan. Voila. Right. My apartment is everything, everything is the same, kind of boring, but you know, take with what you got, with what you got, right? And so now that is the color of my floor. Floor is kind of that grayish um, plank look, right? So that at the moment is my floor plan. Right. Any questions, feel free to ask. All right, when you have finished, what I want you to do is I want you to take a screenshot of your floor plan so I can see what it looks like, right? So you're going to use shift command four and you should get this um, different looking um, arrow here. And then what I want you to do is just take it, go from one corner, scroll and grab it, all right? And make sure the whole floor plan is in there. And voila, there's my floor plan, done. All right, so um, you need to submit your assignment on the digital floor plan on Canvas. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly. Um, if you feel that you need to talk face-to-face um, -face because you um, do better that way in learning, then feel free to um, email me and we can set up a conference. Either way, I will, I'm more than happy to discuss things with you. Um, hope you're having a good week and... We'll see you back here um, after spring break. Thanks. Bye.